absolutely repulses me, makes my toes curl, makes goosebumps stand up. It steam could blow out of my ears. And this is the things that would trigger it. Something happened recently, which is why I'm making this video. If he has a low pain tolerance, even if it hurts, shut up. Shut up, I don't wanna hear you whine about. Maybe because I have a high pain tolerance, but I just feel like if you are gonna complain, cause like, mm, I stubbed my toe and it really hurts. I can't go up the stairs anymore cause my toe really hurts. Grow up. What? Yeah, I guess that she's thinking that we're robots or something in this one. Cause you should be able to say ouch when you get hurt. Now you won't believe the rationalization for cheating in this next one. I love you. Just a day. Just a day. You're not supposed to be. I'm gonna walk down the alley. It's a day. How can you go on a date with somebody else if you're dating me? Easy. Do I just go like? I'm, I'm dating you, I'm dating him, I'm dating Bob, I mean, I'm dating, what? My mom told me about you, man, and I tried to tell her that, that you was not that type. I can't spend 75 or or $100 on a first date. He just shouldn't be dating. A person shouldn't feel entitled to have a gentleman spend a certain amount of money on them just to prove that they're interested, but I'm sure there's more to this. Wants to take you on a walk or go for coffee on the first date? <sighs> Say no thanks and move on. Do you think the guy that spends $4 on you for the first date for a coffee or for a cookie is going to be an overflowing fountain of effort and enthusiasm for you moving forward? And who's to say he won't? Actually, it says a lot more about a guy that is careful with his money rather than someone who just flings it around hoping to impress someone. But what do I know? New outfit, nails done, hair done, maybe buy some new makeup or perfume or jewelry. Jesse, it's not about the money. On the first few dates, it is. On every date moving forward, it is. And there we have it. I guess really nothing more need be said here. Yeah, there are in fact a decent number of married couples out there whose first date was a walk in the park or a coffee date. Because if those wives likely had that same mindset, then they likely would be single. Next, we got just an utter denial of basic physics. Can we just also say we don't actually need gravity? What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Invented by who? Sir Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton created gravity? Whoever created gravity, someone did, but we don't actually need it. There was a time on Earth before gravity existed? Yes. I mean, what do you mean we don't need gravity? gravity? I'm curious about that We statement. just don't need it. But like, what do you mean? <laughs> the moon doesn't have gravity. Oh boy. It does. You but what eat. do you mean that, that we don't need gravity? I don't understand that statement. What do you mean by it? Like that we could exist without gravity? Yes. You know, we would just be floating around. Nothing that's would be anchored why, to the earth. Yeah, but if that's all we know, nobody would know any different. How are you going to exist on this earth without gravity? You'd be thrown into outer space. There'd be no atmosphere. There'd be no oceans. Literally don't know what you're talking about. Like, oh, I'm okay. literally checked out of this conversation. Okay, let's keep I'm going. I'm so let's, confused what's this, what's let's move on. Stop it. I have to make for your to, to uh, go on with you. I would say definitely over... 500,000. So, like, US? a million. Yes. Yes. But a million would be very nice, Carolyn. Yeah. A million dollars a year. So, that yeah. may, that's about, I think, $80,000 a month. Yeah. Okay. It depends. Anything is possible. Mm -hmm. like. What? It seems like she herself wasn't really aware of what she was saying. Cause why would somebody making that much money really want to date her? Now this next bro simply wasn't having it. How many bodies you got? Why you roll your It seems like a bad question. I don't care. Oh! Oh, I know. <laughs> I really don't know. Like I haven't counted and I can't remember. Mm -hmm. like... Damn. No, no, not like that though. <laughs> That's a bad Hell no. At 44, have you ever been married before? Yes. How long? 14 years. 14 years married. Mm -hmm. Well, I was with him. We were married like 10. I'm actually still technically married. But we broke up five years ago. So what's it like going back into the world now? It's crazy. What makes you say that? There's a lot of liars. Like most of the good people or the good guys are like taken and gone. So now you have to filter through the leftovers. Definitely younger guys want like a sugar mama. That's definitely happening. There's older guys that want 
what's the word, like a trophy. And then there's kind of, I think, a lack of guys in my age group. But my question is, why throw a marriage away after so long? Well, I didn't throw it away. I tried. I tried to make it work. It didn't work. Okay, I want to hear the ex-husband side of the story and then we can decide. Because people can just be so quick to blame others. Now this next bro just wanted a peaceful night of rest. Hey, so there's something I've been thinking about lately. Can we like normalize putting whether you snore or not in your dating profile? You know, just like, like you're hot, you know, you make a lot of money. It ain't worth it, man. Like, I do not want to be here right now. Please. I have work in the morning. I can't do this. My disappointment is immeasurable. You're in a relationship and someone does something that's a non-negotiable. You don't need to sit there and convince them why they need to do this or control them. Instead, go simply, hey, look, I don't want to waste my time. I think you're a nice person. But look, if you do this and this and this, that's fine. But we will never be in a relationship. Is that fair? Are we clear? And if they don't want to do it, or if they're not open to changing and not doing the things that you're against as a person, then walk. So you know what? I wish you the best and walk away. They will respect you. They say that it's better to be respected than to be liked because you cannot control how others act while you can control your ability to leave. You get some money spent on, but you got to earn it first. No? Mm. Damn, man. That's okay. She look like she just want to cash that, please. Damn. If you ranked yourself on a scale of one to ten, what would you do? Yeah, let's get back to reality. No, I'm in reality. No, no, you're not in reality. I'm you're in not reality. You're not in reality. I'm so, you I'm ain't not this even, combative, man. I'm if not you really want to say you're a ten, that's fine. But show me no. what the show me where the model contracts are. I don't want to be a model. I, I didn't ask, ask you somebody, whether you want to be a model or not. Today, somebody asked me today. But you're not. You but man, model? you're not a. But you're not. But you're not that. Come on. But I would never, ever think to call myself a ten because I know I'm not a ten. Is I knew my best. I knew at my best. I was never a ten. I knew that. You can all say what you want, but the world reflects back what it is. We attract what we are, and if you've never dated tens, guys at that high level. If, you, if they're not knocking down your door, you're on Instagram, right? If they're not trying to marry you, wife you, that's not where you are. You can call it whatever you want to. You can have 10 energy all day long, but that's not it. It's great how he introduced honesty by using himself as an example, cause it's just okay to not be a 10. Now there's just no words for this next one. I just feel sad for myself. Why am I crying? This is ridiculous. I don't even cry really. Like, I haven't cried in ages. <laughs> this might be dramatic. I'm not saying that it's not. Is anyone else just tired of dating? I literally just sat in my car for 20 minutes crying because I'm so tired of pointless conversations and meaningless interactions with people that go absolutely nowhere. And by the way, no, no one has hurt my feelings. Nothing has happened to trigger this except for me just realizing like, what is the point? Truly, like no one dates with intention and actually wants anything serious. And it's just like constant disappointment. And I'm just tired of having that negative energy in my life. But I also feel like I'm getting older and it's like, I have to put some effort into dating or I'm just gonna be alone forever. But now I'm just honestly getting to the point where I'm just gonna be the single aunt. And I think I'm okay with that. She clearly does not appear okay with that. And if she really wants to get a husband, then she's gonna have to put in some more effort. Really hope you enjoyed these clips today and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.